Okay, so here it is, the merry month of May. We are at an undisclosed location somewhere in central Missouri, far away from uh, our fair city of Montreal. Uh, it's graduation uh, day uh, for my eldest boy, so I've decided to make him some really cool uh, camping gear. And afterwards, we uh, are going to go on a little extended trip with a couple of his friends into the Missouri wilderness. It's tornado season, so it should be lots of fun. So what we have is the uh, Four Season Man Cave that uh, I've constructed from materials uh, from Backwoods Daydreamer, some nice 1.1 uh, ripstop camo. And uh, I've been following a forum uh, in which uh, a number of uh, members are curious about the uh, do-it-yourself uh, sill nylon. So I've gone ahead and uh, purchased my materials. I have two quarts of uh, mineral spirits, the odorless variety, and one tube of silicone uh, clear, silicone GE caulk. Uh, I have a, uh, a drill with a specially constructed uh, graphite shaft and uh, Let's see, there's three little zip ties on the end there, caulk gun, and let's not forget the rubber gloves. Don't use, uh, you know, um, those, uh, those little latex gloves. These babies are very nice and won't melt in your hands as you're doing this process. So uh, this is not the first time I've done this. Uh, I have a little experience, but this is a method that seems to work really well. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up uh, and... Uh, uh, get the thing ready for the bucket. Okay, so the mineral spirits have been poured into our handy dandy plastic bucket. I have the uh, silicone in the caulking gun all ready to go. I've pierced the inner seal and it's just a simple matter of squeezing that goop right into the bucket. Oh, it's ever so much fun. Look at that stuff go. Man, oh man, I shove it. So, uh, all I do is just squirt the whole thing right in there. If there was a faster way to do this, I sure would do it. But uh, this is it for now. A few more squeezes and we're done. All that goes in the bucket. It looks like a nasty mess because it is a nasty mess. Be careful, gang not to tip your bucket over at this juncture. It would be most grievous indeed. So, there you go. Shake off the end. If you shake too much, you're playing with it. All right, so here's the bucket again with the mineral spirits in it. I have my uh, drill set up. Maybe a couple of spins, make sure it works okay. Uh, I guess uh, if this were a perfect world, I would have a lid that I would be doing this through because when this thing gets to spinning, sometimes it splashes. So we'll just we'll go slow and see what happens. And then get right in there. The zip ties are great because they're flexible enough. They get all the way around the sides of the bucket. No questions, no problems. So let's see how spin a bit. Take your time. You're in no hurry. What I want to do is get the get my spindle right on the bottom of the bucket and spin and try not to splash all over my leg. I hate that. So it seems to be working okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this go spin away for about, well, I don't know, two minutes or so, and uh, then I can check on it and see how it's doing. Maybe this has to be done a couple of times, but uh, generally it works pretty well. So uh, get right back to you. So this has been stirring away for about uh, two minutes or so. I looked at my uh, zip ties. I don't see any uh, globs of uh, silicone sticking to those, so I know it's it's doing pretty well. But there's a layer of foam on top. I'm just going to let it sit for uh, a couple of minutes. I think I'll go uh, have another one of those Heinekens and uh, come back to this. And we'll probably give it another spin just to be on the safe side. You don't want globs of silicone in there. It's got to be really, really well mixed. Otherwise, you end up with a mess. Here you go. Okay, so the uh, silicone and mineral spirits are all mixed up in the bucket. 
I'm a big fan of the total immersion method. I don't, uh, I'm too lazy to stretch things out and roll and spread and all that crap. Uh, and ordinarily I would never do this indoors, but um, there's tornado warnings and uh, we have a lull in the weather right now, so I'm kind of stuck with doing this in the barn. But I have opened up uh, the, uh, the barn so that I get plenty of ventilation. This stuff, despite its low odor, is, is fairly toxic and uh, you do want to do this in a well ventilated area. Okay, So uh, I have strung up a line which the tarp is hanging from. Uh, I will uh, shortly lower the uh, tarp into the bucket uh, and all I do is I just wring it and squeeze it and pull it and play with it. Uh, I'll dip it several times over and over and over again to get the saturation that is needed to seal this tarp. It's a big tarp too gang. Uh, it's 11 feet, well actually it's 13 feet by uh, hmm, close to 11 feet in width once it's laid out flat and it sucks up a lot of uh, a lot of material. Uh, I've noticed that with two quarts of mineral spirits and one tube of caulk I have enough material that I can do two tarps so actually I have another one that I'm going to be doing as well today along with a couple of stuff sacks and uh, uh, other odds and ends. So big project today I'm going to take advantage of the foul weather here and uh, so the next step is to lower it into the bucket and squish away and uh, we'll come back as soon as we're done with that. Right. So there's that massive tarp uh, inserted into the bucket. This bucket, by the way, I think is maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, must be about three gallons uh, in terms of uh, volume. I've got my rubber gloves. I definitely do not want to handle any of this uh, crap with, uh, without them. I've done it before and it's not pleasant. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to pretend that I'm uh, I'm kneading bread. I don't know if any of you have ever done that before, but I'm just going to squeeze the living daylights out of this stuff while it's in the bucket, push it down, pull it out, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but right now I have to pee really badly, so uh close we'll season. Okay. So there it is, thoroughly saturated with the uh, solution. Uh, I have already strung the lines up on either end of this barn here. What I'll do is I'll just uh, tighten that end up, raise the whole works up. Uh, there are prussic knots uh, on the uh, each end of the tarp, so I'll just slide those out, stretch this thing out. Then I have some uh, guy lines and some weights to spread it all out nicely and uh, let it dry. And generally, uh, my uh, finding has been that for this to dry uh, sufficiently it needs about really if you can set it for about 48 hours that's great um, but uh, it'll do it in less obviously so let's go and uh, we'll do that now okay so here she is pulled up tight uh, I've uh, tensioned the prussic knots on the uh, ridge line as tight as I can get them without uh, hurting myself. So I'll put uh, guy lines on the uh, bottoms, attach them to some weights. We'll stretch this thing out and get everything hanging nice and loose. Okay, so it's all strung up nice and tight. Well, not tight, but enough to get all the wrinkles out. Not too worried about getting it real tight. But I, I do want to avoid wrinkles that stick together and I believe we have reached that point. I'm satisfied, I'm happy. Get a sense of how this thing's going to look out in the wild under real use conditions. Um, yeah, very happy. Looks good, nice space inside. Okay, like I said, two tarps to do. Got them all done. You know, uh, you got to do this stuff fast because the uh, the silicone, it does start to set up quickly. And I noticed on the second tarp, the one right there, that maybe, um, maybe I waited a little too long because I see little globs of uh, silicone. But 
You know, if you don't give a shit like me, <laughs> yeah, it's maybe not a big deal. After it's uh, been uh, strung up out in the woods a time or two, any globs and whatnots will uh, eventually fade away. It's not such a big deal. But uh, if aesthetics is your thing, well, hey, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And, and, and when it's dark, really, you know, at nighttime, you can't see those things, so who cares? But, uh, yeah, so there it is. Two quarts of uh, odorless mineral spirits, a tube of uh, silicone caulk, clear. Hey, stay away from that white stuff or any other colors. Uh, you're not going to like what happens. Uh, so we'll let those hang for uh, a day or so, and then we're going to go uh, camping. Cheerio, gang.